Hello friends, welcome to this discussion on Solvay Ammonia Process. <coughs> As we know, it is a process to prepare NaHCO3, sodium bicarbonate. Uh, also on heating, this sodium bicarbonate converts to Na2CO3, washing soda. Therefore, this method can be used to prepare both sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate. Let's understand the step-by-step -step flowchart of the process. On the left hand side you can see this is a furnace this is a furnace where you have a limestone which is heated at a high temperature we end up getting calcium oxide and carbon dioxide calcium oxide is dissolved in this water chamber converting to calcium hydroxide this is clay lime now this clay lime goes to a ammonia recovery tower now ammonia is used in the process because ammonia is used to prepare the bicarbonate ion ammonia plus CO2 plus H2O gives us ammonium bicarbonate NH4 HCO3 so basically it is used to prepare the bicarbonate ion now clearly we have a brine entering from here this brine and this this brine solution which is NaCl plus ammonium bicarbonate which is NH4 plus HCO3 minus it will give us NaHCO3 now the entire principle of the process is that the sodium bicarbonate is sparingly soluble in water and therefore can be filtered off so this reaction is happening in a carbonation tower ammonia is recovered from here so we can very well see from here that what we end up getting at the end of the carbonation tower is two things one is calcium bicarbonate which being sparingly soluble is filtered off and the remaining is ammonium chloride which reacts with calcium hydroxide and ammonia they have they are both going into the ammonia recovery tower and here the reaction is regeneration of ammonia so we have NH4Cl NH4Cl plus we have calcium hydroxide giving us ammonia plus calcium chloride plus water so ammonia is recycled which means the only byproduct of the reaction is I'm just using a highlighter is calcium chloride so only thing which is a byproduct for this solve ammonia process is calcium chloride so this was in short the flow chart and the process description of solve ammonia process let's rewind we have water and calcium carbonate it is being heated it becomes calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide goes to the ammonia recovery chamber where it meets with NH4Cl the reaction of NH4Cl is mentioned over here we end up getting recovered ammonia and calcium chloride which is the byproduct of the reaction ammonia which is uh, recovered is recycled it enters the carbonation tower where it meets brine solution ammonia is used to generate the bicarbonate ion because the process depends upon the formation of NaHCO3 NaHCO3 is sparingly soluble that is the principle behind this process cannot be used to, pro to produce potassium hydrogen carbonate why because it is extremely soluble and the process miserably fails over here so thanks for watching this video stay tuned thank you